I'm not sure. I got pillows. <laughs> credit card numbers. Who's got credit card numbers? I got 10 pillows in stock. No. Um, <laughs> we got pillows. We got wedges. We got chiropractic. We got it all. Come on by. Yeah, where we got? I'm poor. We just opened three months ago. I'm, <laughs> I'm just paying my living expenses, people. Um, You guys all know where Coles is off of Bell. He's in that little area in there. He's got a really cute office, really nice receptionist. So I'm going to introduce Dr. Patrick Payne. All right. Hey, guys. How's it going? I'm going to get a high back here. I really got to get one of those uh, those clicker things because I, I keep having to pull. Every time I do a talk, I'm sitting here like one of these. I'm going to throw my back out. So. Ooh, that would be awesome. You know what? I'm going to pick this side. <laughs> I'm going to get my human clicker. Um, so like you said, my name is Dr. Patrick Bain. I'm from Minnesota originally, so proud Minnesotan, and I met two other Minnesotans here today, so you know, hold together, got the triangle. Um, we just opened about three months ago in Surprise with a new type of chiropractic. It's called ABC, and I'm actually the only clinic in the entire state of Arizona that's doing this type of chiropractic, and I'm pretty excited to talk about it because this new type of chiropractic and a different thing that we do called functional nutrition healed my multiple sclerosis. I was uh, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis about seven years ago, and yet here I am, healthy, not in a wheelchair, no neurological symptoms at all. So it's pretty awesome, and that's why I'm so passionate about talking about it. So we can click the next one. Yeah, just, oh, here we go. This guy right there. Okay. And Technology, I'll do one you have more. To tell me. Okay. Okay, there we go. So I always talk about the basic chiropractic idea first, just so people kind of get an idea of what is it that a chiropractor does. And the stereotypical, I would say, philosophy of chiropractic, right, is that we have the bones of the spine. These bones go out of place, which then affects your neurology. It affects the nerve communication from the brain out to the body and from the body back up to the brain. So the whole idea behind chiropractic is if we can move these bones back into a better alignment, then the goal is to get better communication with the neurological system. So, and I know everybody's kind of got a different um, background in anatomy, so I'm not gonna bore you with a ton of anatomy, but the nervous system is basically comprised of three things. The brain, which is up here, spinal cord, which is kind of like the connecting tube from the brain out to the body, and then the exiting nerves that come off of that spinal cord and go out to the rest of the body and control everything. So this is an MRI of a patient. So basically what we've done is we've kind of split them in half down the center here. In the front there is the front of your vertebrae all the way down. Right here we have the brain. Here's the spinal cord right here, so that tube, that connecting tube. And there's the back of your vertebrae there. Now this spinal cord connects to two places, and this is why this is really key. It attaches to the tip of your tailbone and then the base of the brain. So remember that, because we're gonna talk about why is that so important with how this affects your neurology. All right, so this new type of chiropractic, it's based upon four things, okay? The first is the direction that we move bones. So I don't know everybody's kind of experience with regular style chiropractic, which is what I would say what comprises the majority, but they typically lay people face down, okay? They come on the backside here, and they push bones forward. Now let me tell you why that doesn't make any sense, okay? Because when we talk about bad posture and when we talk about aging, it's never this, right? I'll give you a hundred bucks if you ever see an elderly person who ages like this. You know, walks around like this all day long. I'll give you a hundred dollars, haven't found a single person. Send me a picture, and I'm, I'm kidding you, I'll give you a hundred bucks. It doesn't happen like that. It's this, it's always this forward. We see kids texting. Everything's always forward. But you see how that doesn't make sense then with how we do regular style chiropractic. We lay people face down, we come on this side, and we push forward. But you see, you can't be here unless the spine is misaligned in this direction. Because if it misaligned backwards, we'd all be like this. Make sense? So that's the first difference. Instead of pushing bones forward like everybody else, we're going to push the bones backwards instead of forwards to restore the posture. Okay? Number two, and this is just as important, we've learned, and I'll kind of show you this in a bit, just like you build scar tissue and muscles, anybody heard of scar tissue before? Massage therapists out there, chiropractor, whoever, right? They're working on the muscles, they maybe scrape some tools on there to try to get rid of that, break it up. We've actually learned that you built that on the inside of the spine. So I'm actually gonna show you a picture today where you actually get to see what that looks like. 
But that's so important because one, that's why you get stiffer as you get older, right? Everybody's told you what? You're just getting older. That's what they blame it on. Ah, you're just getting up in years, you're gonna get stiffer. That is the cause, right? So the second thing that we do differently is I'm gonna get rid of that scar tissue from the inside, so we'll talk about that today. Third difference, I don't twist anything. I don't twist the neck, I don't twist the low back. So I don't know if everybody's experienced like I said, but if you ever had a really bad twist on your neck or low back and you were out for about three months after that, you know what I'm talking about, it's not so fun, right? And the last thing is we're talking about a permanent correction of the problem that you came in with instead of a short-term treatment of the symptoms, which is we, we don't want, right? All we're doing in healthcare is treatments, right? We have the opioid crisis now. Does anybody know about how many people die a year from opioids? About 250,000, and that's just what we know about. And that's just one class of drugs. That's not all the other classes combined. That's how crazy this is. Next slide for me, please. Okay, so this is an x-ray of a patient. What do we see? Forwardness. Do we see how the spine here, if you watch it, how that's forward? Think about that, right? Because remember that picture, brain, tailbone, spinal cord. Well, what's happening to that cord? The more forward I go, it stretches, right? I heard it somewhere out there, it stretches. And then think about that, because of its attachment directly to your brain, the more forward you go, it's gonna pull on your brain all day long. But now what do you get? Migraines, numbness and tingling, weakness down the legs, sciatica, sciatica vertigo, balance issues, weakness down an extremity, all these different things, all these neurological symptoms can be based in that tension in the cord. That's how crazy this is. And nobody's addressing this. Nobody. You got people walking around all day long with these things and they're just doing surgeries, they're just putting them on drugs, and they continue to suffer and continue to get worse. Okay, next slide for me. So that's what that looks like, right? Here's the bottom of the cord, there's the top. You can see how that becomes stretched. If I can just take a person like this, and shift them back like that, do you see how much less tension that would have in that system? That's what the idea is, that's what we're doing. And here I have what we'd call a cross section, like if I took that cord and I cut it in half, that's what happens, the more stretch that you get, it shrinks by half, thus you decrease the communication. Next slide for me. This is the scar tissue, this is huge, okay? So, front of your vertebrae here, Back of the vertebrae there, spinal cord there, and a real human spine, okay? Watch my finger. Nothing here, nothing here. You see this, this white, kind of placky like looking material here. All of this plaque here, and if you follow here, all of this spider web looking material there, that is the scar tissue. And it literally binds like this between the inside of your bones and to your spinal cord. Now that's a two part thing, like I said, causes stiffness as you get older, and then it actually increases that brain tension because it literally attaches directly to the covering of your cord. So besides moving bones backwards instead of forwards, the second thing that we do is these full body stretches where I'm gonna get that scar tissue tight, we're gonna push through it to break it up. Next slide for me, please. One more slide for me, I already explained that. So this is how crazy this is. These are within 10 minutes of each other, pre and post. This gentleman's about 85 years old. This is in only three visits. This is where he started. This was three visits later. Do you see that? Now here's how cool this was. Within this visit alone, and I have this on video on our Facebook, so if you haven't gone on our Facebook, you need to go there because I post these videos. They're crazy and you need to share these. He had a dead left foot. By dead, I mean it was done. This thing could not move. 15 minutes later, I have it on video. That thing was moving fully with no problems whatsoever. Dead for 20 years. 15 minutes later. That's how crazy this is, guys. No one else is doing this. We need to spread this to people. So I'm trying to get on local news uh, currently, so if you know any news anchors or if you've ever gotten on the news, I need help with that. Because people need to know that this is possible. These people need help really, really bad. Next slide for me. Here's another patient. Once again, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Acute low back pain came crawling in my office, walked out 10 minutes later. No problems. Next slide for me. So this is my contact information. I'll be handing out a bunch of business cards, but I'd love to answer any questions for a couple minutes and 